Think, little buddy. Ready to go for a ride? Oh, you're not gonna know what to do. Who's that? Who's that? Hmm, it's okay. Who is in the car right now? Chester is, and he does not know what's going on. We'll get you a cat carrier. No, stay away from there. No. Go down there. Say goodbye to your trailer park lifestyle. Don't worry, I'll bring you back. We're gonna get you a collar. We're gonna clean that ear up. Yeah, it's a good kitty. Oh my god, you are so cool. You really are the cat I've been looking for. I wanted a uh, torty. But sometimes the right animal just chooses you. I'll get a torty to be Chester's buddy once I get the cabin built. Hey. Yeah, good boy. Hey. Well, look where we are. We're going to get this dude all dialed in. I'm about to blow a couple hundred bucks on shit. I did not think I was getting a cat with this property or I was getting a cat in general, but I've wanted a cat and it's destiny. All right, my sleepy little nugget. You're gonna have to chill by yourself for a little. I gotta go get you some stuff. I love you, I won't leave you, I love you. We're gonna get this ear sorted out. In fact, I should get a good photo. Let's get a good photo to show the employees. You're such a good boy. Turkey and giblet, chicken. Two hundred fifty fucking dollars later. It's me. It's me. Yeah. Hi. Hi. We're almost home. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, look at all those crustaceous things in your ear. I'm not gonna let go of you. No matter what. I will never let go of you, Chester. And you shall not let go of me. What do you think? Are you gonna pee? What do you think? This is your new home. Is that where you pee? Huh? Oh, good boy. He's a good boy. Good boy, Chester. Good boy. You like it here? Do you? You like it? This is your new home. It's all yours. Everything. It's yours. I built this for you. And I'm going to build a new cabin on your land for you. Should we try to get a brush? Come here. Come here. Like yes. I hope there's no fleas. I'm sorry. I'm trying to finish. Do you? Yeah, you're a good kitty, huh? You like all of it. Come here. Oh, you just want all the love, don't you? Yes. This is like something out of a movie. How could I meet your beautiful little butt? Mission hmm? success, pretty much. He's chilling. He just took a piss and a stinkiest dump. Holy shit, I had to throw it out right away. Stunk up this whole room. I got an incense lit now. Looks like your favorite star player slash team leader. Is hosting the biggest, baddest, most patriotic throwdown in town. 
This little turkey must have belonged to Dick. He's definitely potty trained. Yeah, did you just pee? Oh, you're such a good kitty. You almost ready for breakies? You want breakfast, don't you? You cleaned that bowl last night. There was definitely food left when I fed you. Yeah. Oh, you're such a good kitty. We're about to give Chester a bath. He spent the night last night. Snuggled with me in bed here. And I woke up and he was sleeping right on this counter. I think it's because he could see the sunrise through the windows. So we're about to get everything set up. Then we're going to bring him upstairs and clean him. What do you think? Huh? You want to go in there? The bathtub? Yeah? Are we going to clean you off? Tubby, who's that? Yes, we're gonna clean you. No, no, no. Stay here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let me get you all clean. All clean. Yeah. You're still dirty as fuck. <laughs> what kind of noise is that? What's that noise, huh? Well, this little rascal just got himself some treats. Cleaned him up. The ear rot is definitely scabs. There's a tick down here I'm gonna have to pull off. He's not gonna be happy with me. I think it's a tick. I don't know, it looks like a scab too. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. It's all right. Well, he's all caged up. I feel bad, but we're taking him to the vets. Gotta get him all cleaned up. New kitty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, Bonnie. He's pretty awesome. Do you got a new home? He was not stoked to get in this thing, but he laid down after a little bit of trying to squeeze through the bars. Probably want to start some vaccines for him today. Um, how's he been doing just settling in with you? He's been good. Um, he's definitely, I mean, he lived on an abandoned like farm property and there's dogs around, so I don't think he's been able to really get much good sleep ever. Yeah. Um, so he's just been eating and sleeping a lot. Um, he definitely seems like he had an owner at one point because when I brought him home, he immediately used the litter box. Okay, good. And from my understanding, he is a male cat because the neighbor said he had impregnated their cats. Okay. <laughs> but uh, it's not confirmed. Okay. We can check that today. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Good. I heard I gave you the brief, and I have a camera if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All I right. just bought a piece of land, and I'm kind of, it's got a bunch of abandoned buildings, and I'm slowly documenting the process of me oh, really? developing it, which will oh. be a long process. And this little guy was on the land, and I rescued him. So part, part of the part process. Of the story. Yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Hi, pal. <laughs> How are you? He's just hanging out. He's, he's a good boy. Good. Oh, look at you here. You gotta check me out first. You get to go first, pal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweetie. How you doing? What do you think, my friend? Uh, 
You've had a little bit of a tough beginning there, huh? Okay, Chester. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's my boy. Perfect, gentle, gentle. <laughs> there you go. Okay. There we go, buddy. There, all right. Don't you worry. You can just make sure that back off in there. There, baby. That's in there, buddy. You're doing great. You're Good doing job, great. Chester. Good boy. Oh yeah, we got some ear mites. He, who knows? He may be three or four. Yeah. But he's he's all grown up. He's all grown up. Just feeling your tummy a little bit, sweetie. I know this is weird stuff. You do it good. Yep. He's all boy down there, Justin. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Good boy. Good, good boy. Job, Justin. You know, he and, and with that in mind, honestly, I might might roll back what I said. He may be even younger than than three and three or four. A lot of times with tomcats, adult male cats, um, when they've when they've been around for three or four or five years, they'll get these great big heads, these like big jowls. Which he doesn't, would you, Keegan, would you say, he, do, he doesn't really look like that. Yeah, I know you're talking about the chatterheads. Yeah, yeah. They get, they get <laughs> the chatterheads, yeah. I like that, yeah. Yeah, so I don't really appreciate that with him. So he may be, he may be younger than, than what we first thought. What do you think? But he's healthy, we gotta get rid of that ear stuff. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. Isn't he, isn't he awesome? Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Daddy, <laughs> ain't your face daddy. You're bigger than I thought, young 11. man. 11.6. Wow, big boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still, okay. Just make sure that... You're happy with getting rid of your ear mites. You're going to be clean. Uh, <laughs> oh, Go, gentle, gentle. Oh, that's my good kid. Thanks, everyone, for Yay! their help. Yay! Chester's first visit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I took Chester to the vet today, and he got treatment for his ear mites. I figured I'd take it upon myself to start physically removing some. They look like hard scabs, but they actually come right off. I already picked a ton of them off. Well, if you guys made it through watching that episode, just want to let you know that everything's good with Chester and I. Uh, all these episodes are backlogged, so you're watching from last winter. Since then, he's... Been living large here at the house with me. He comes up to the land, I let him out. He free range roams, he catches rats, he sleeps in the trailer. So you'll get to see plenty more of him. It's not the last you'll see of him up at the land. He's got a great little life now, don't you? And to say this little guy changed my life was an understatement, literally worth every penny. I tell people I bought a $71,000 cat, not a piece of land. Look at you, you're so feisty. Thanks for being patient. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. It means a lot. Are you the tree climber? Are you a little stinker? You want to be a country boy, don't you? Don't worry, we'll live out here someday. Such a good boy.